Before I went to flag down, I was all like this. But after flag down, I had a lot of things to say. What, what to say about it? I mean, it was like, psh, boom. I mean, I just, wow. When I read about it, I said, this is it. This is it. Uh, I was astounded. It blew my mind. I thought, where else in the world? I thought, where else in the world can we have a gathering of powerful, individual, free-thinking, suppressive people that would have any more impact than a gathering of suppressives, a mecca? of suppressives flying down in 2014. You talk about SPs. <laughs> I mean, SPs. <laughs> you would just, uh, you couldn't find a better group of SPs anywhere. Uh, we talked, we laughed. You know, and, and I have to tell you this. When I heard Jamie DeWolf's speech, his presentation about Ellen Hubbard Jr., I was like, Psh! I mean, it was, Psh! everyone, everyone should view that video. When you talk about the speakers, it, it was absolutely mind blowing. Um, and, and the fact that we, a ragtag group of SPs could create so much impact, so much in theta. It's, it's beyond belief. People don't believe you when you say it. It's like, how could how could that possibly occur? But I assure you, it did. I had great wins from Flag Down. One of the most amazing things was uh, my friend and John Dagnan and I, we would, uh, we would travel out to the uh, Flag Down event where we were speaking. And it was like magic. We came to a, to a venue. Um, we literally got a parking space within seconds. We would pull up, and the person would pull out. And there we had our parking space, just phew, right there. Um, it was just uh, an, an amazing experience. Um, I don't think I've, I've ever been as OT, as, as complete an operating thing as I was as an SP. When you drive past a Scientologist, it's not like anyone else. You know that you're the only one who can help. As you drive past, you have to stop and do something about it. You have to improve and change conditions for the Scientologists. As a uh, suppressive person, when you drive by a Scientologist, that, you know, train wreck by the, the side of the road, you know that you can help. That's what drives me, to know that we really, for the first time, have an opportunity to help Scientologists, to end Scientology. I think it's a privilege to be a suppressive person. He or she has an ability 
to do. It has an ability to change conditions for Scientology. We, expressive people, are the only ones who can help. We're the only ones who can take effective action, powerful, effective action. And it's, it's something that you have to earn. It, it's not just given to you. Um, There are many pathways to becoming a suppressive person, but again, you have to earn. You have to stand up and do something. It's not something for the for the faint of heart. It's a deadly, serious activity. But when you do, it's just amazing. I mean. I encourage you to step into the world of the suppressors, to read the materials that are available. It will change your life. <laughs> Scientologists. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Someday it will be something for the history books. Scientologists. <laughs> <laughs> I have to laugh at I have to laugh at that because uh, you know someday you'll say Scientologists and they'll go who? <laughs>